almost already. And 100 Thieves have absolutely pinched this spawn point. So they'll switch forward. Now DS and FTX. The clear comes Cubby and Hiko instantly hits the ground. Same story with Asuna. They get the spawn, but ZK is tucked through for a second frag now. Looking for a third is JC standing. The Astro V Astro duel towards the back of spawn. For clean, right? Like a D Cop has Ethan towards sight and harmful. Will come through now. A main to finish the job. They try to push early. 100 Thieves try to catch him off guard. Well, no, sir. DS Ready. When your org makes so much money in merch, you have the money to gamble, and that they've done. They've gamble stacked all the way to B, they'll run it down yet again, and TSM FTX Academy are over towards that A side naturally, so they get that advantage early into the round and start to work their way away. They want the peaks, they got the util for it. Oh my goodness, it is a barrage of util. CK will swing for three, Precision now to get one. They don't clear the close corners, so Ethan gets escape with one more frag with Precision with a quick trade. TSM, even though he was in that off angle. So two on two, Spike will go down now. The Cosmic Divide gonna help that one happen. Ethan will bring his way up through hallway. Teammate towards CT. Both players for TSM gonna be stuck towards sight here. So limited sight lines, limited angles. What's the weapon are you looking like? Are they double specters? One phantom, one specter? Clean flash to send out Ethan. He's good for one. ZK with a quick trade and now he's known about. Bang's only 20 HP. Has to nail this shot and ZK will nail it instead. The bonus comes through for TSM FT. Out. Well, Gwen's with the top of the satellite, so it's just one angle to clear, but Ethan will be in that off angle. Same with Stanny. So they're good for the first. DK has to come out, just has to frag. Able to find one. 20 seconds on this round. He's, here. He's heard the reload of Ethan. Knows where he is. With the push towards satellite. There's the first peak. Ethan gonna play the time. He'll swing in ZK. He's done it yet again. He's 1v2 and it's 4 rolls. He doesn't have the academy. Will save themselves from getting eco. Yes, M. We've seen this struggle before. Last time around, though, with this util dump and the perma smoke, it was a 2v2. Here we go. We get all the util out to execute in this tunnel side. Is he gonna pick up one? Not a second. The harmful has a trade. And also now out of door. That's the advantage of having that double close contact angle with Payne to shut it down with the Frenzy. Bane to pick up one from the top of Overlook. Left. He's got it clean through the Nebula. This has the read, has the angles. Try to make it towards close CT spawn. 20 seconds to get to sight. They have picked up two rifles here, but now we're remaining. saving as they're already here. Bane to pick up one from spawn and he'll take both to wrap things up. A 3K for the breach on the round. Two to four for 100 Thieves. Now we head back to the gun round. Okay, oh that's... no. He has out his teammate as well, but what matters? Bane's good to find one. We'll take down Payne. ZK to tuck back a box and he'll pick up two as they line up for him. Spike in his hand, 25 that seconds. He can pick up another and it's suddenly a 1v1 as Ethan has that trade. Stuck towards spawn, so there's room to get to site to get the plant down. ZK will jump to site now with the plant behind site boxes and that one should be relatively safe. So the plant has gone down. Wall bang. Not going to connect. The swing for ZK and Ethan will win it out. Then it's all down to JC Stanny. JC Stanny will throw it on the Nebula, but it's too late. Harmful's already here. He'll slide in, but he'll slide into his death as JC Stanny will take another. Hang in, looking for the trade, and no trades be found just yet. JC Stanny once again will turn a flash. No peak to be had just yet, though. So patient from the Astro here towards Tower, recognizing how much space he really has, how much second control really he has. And he will not move off, but the rest of the team is going to be CT watching for crosses. Take fight to come out. So JC Stanny now safe to swing. Remaining. Frags aren't going to be there, but Asana and Bang, different story for them. They'll take both. Right now, DCOP just needs to look for either somehow in some magic way the Cosmic Divide to come down or maybe even more likely the Showstopper, right? Get rid of that ult on the board. Don't have to worry about it for the next Ooh. round. Massive wallbang from Bang. Swing to come out. Hiko will take care of business. Up so close and personal. He will have a trade behind him. Hiko's going to be there, but they've both been caught by Util and Harmful. He's caught them both with bullets. So both will fall and they work their way into the A site now. Ethan up close to personal with a tour de force. He hasn't found the shot though, and now he's stuck in a concussion, so he has to back away. He will get safely to spawn. So many members, 100 Thieves already lost in this one, and TSM FTX, not the same story. They still got five alive. 100 Thieves looking to poke and prod with you two, looking for anything they can find. Put that cosmic divide down now to make things just a little bit easier. Don't have to worry about the drop peak, but have to worry about Payan, who's up close and personal. Ethan will get the trade, but I hope you got four more frags in the bag here, brother, because it's a one on four. Ethan's gotta pick up a rifle here. This is gonna be so hard with the Tour de Force, and now even harder as he's concussed. He's trying to find anything, but Precision will have the headshot. So we're all tied up. We'll get full flash, so Precision able to find one. JC's standing to fall. Ethan still can't have found that shot. Precision, different story for him. He's found himself too. Ethan now will switch to the pistol, the sidearm, to get the job done. Just on side angles to worry about. Poison Orb now gone down. There's the first peak. He's hit it. 1v1. Knows the player's top of sight. This is ZK. On TSM Academy's map pick to keep this team alive. Currently in a six round deficit. The shots are found for Hiko. 100 Thieves, 13 to six. They're up. We're aware of Austin's presence. Maybe they are because they get the swing off the jet. Now it's a 3v4. Plenty for harmful. He's tucked ticket for so long to find one. JC standing to have the quick trade though. Darts in the smoke. 
Just gotta be a bit patient here. It will fade now, and Payne will step forward. Teammate at his side. They're out. They have to do so much angles. The natural crossfires from 100 views are phenomenal. JC standing out for one, and Ethan out of gen for the second. A knife can come out for that null command can be popped and not pop for 100 thieves as they'll bring their way all the way into sight recognize no quick retakes for tsm ftx they'll have to take their sweet sweet time we'll have the lockdown divide combination though so it's no surprise that they're going to play for this retake they've got to wait just a little bit more time in that meantime harmful pick up one he's taking out Hiko towards mid drone forward for Ozuna to swing he's got the lockdown broken beautiful play from Ozuna that takes so much space he's already through into garden two towards scaffold seven bullets to the phantom good for one can't tailwind away harmful has the frag a quick trade Cosmic Divide has gone up for 100 Thieves now as well, so they're trying to hold on to this thing. They've got the split from Hell the Main. The main getting pushed right now by ZK. He's got oh. the Dragon Harmful. We'll pick up one. A clean shot to Ethan as he jumps his way out of Scaffold, and that's the first round one. He's through mid door now to pick up Bang, who tried to look for more look for more regression CT, so good team play there. Null Command now out for TSM Academy as they look to send their way back into the site. We'll smoke off B main, but Cosmic Divided as well. But there is going to be one player there just playing off of the timings right now. Harmful to pick up one. A second as well. And Hiko has to swing through out of main, but he's caught by precision in TSMF Jets Academy, a clean retake to find their second round. And I wonder, we haven't really seen too many of those attacking resets from 100 Thieves, right? Even if we look back on Fracture and probably even going as far back as the beginning of the tournament, oftentimes it's either go big or noise hurts. The scaffold window does break and Payne looks ready for the swing. He's got one. Oh, Ethan with the frenzy. We'll pick up the trade, so Payne's gonna fall. Util to try to stall out this defensive rotation. Harmful's here. He's up close. He's got a new gun as well. This time a rifle, not the ops. So he's got an opportunity to spray down. He'll get damage done. 100 Thieves members gonna be very, very low. Great pull for ZK to pick up one on Ethan as he tries to plant. No plant down just yet. JC Stanley swung by ZK, who's got two from Generator, and Hiko. He's one HP. One the clutch HP. god. This is a hard task, and it won't be harmful with the spray to finish the job. It's four to five. For TSM FTX Academy, I don't think that op can get picked. Rounds on the defense for themselves and 100 Thieves. Well, they've looked good on attack with just about every map so far. That being said, they're going to gamble on B for this final round. Could very well be 7-5. Oh my goodness, the frags come in waves. That's the gamble pays off. TSM FTX will take so many frags there. That spike now down towards Lobby. JC Stanny was on the lurk towards mid and the rest of the team gone. So he's got some interesting positioning. It's not a ton of util to actually spot him here. Only thing he's really got to worry about is that opposing Astra, but they should most likely go cat to mid. No information coming off that zero point. Bang. Clean flash into B main. Turret for information, so no one has to swing that. They're going to expect that to be clear. That'll be a miscom a little bit later into the round, but Precision going to pick up one towards lane. This is Danny. We'll take the Phantom now. It's traded hands a million times this round, and Precision going to find a third kill. Go. He's going to come down to CT stairs. Pick up three. He's got to find two more, though. The double swing to come forward and decop. Has traded it out. Better late than never. It's six to eight. As TSM FTX are going to take that round. First time in the series. A very extended default. They're very patient. They recognize 100 Thieves are on the eco. Let them walk into us. Let them aggress early. And we'll capitalize off it. There's the first flash forward. Beautiful over under us. Harmful. We'll take the peek off of the initial contact from his Astra down below. He's picked up both. Those are the frags you're looking for. And still so composed. Still so patient. They haven't moved in just yet. Not even close to first contact against TSM. No chance of picking up better weapon range. Just still stuck with pistols across the entire board for the team. That being said, though, those stars are going down. It's no wonder where the execute may very well be. Zero point only confirms more information for Bang. Only a fragment grenade and some shock darts can really alleviate this come push. Early. Oh, that there zero comes. point's Look huge! They get at least the shock bolt out first, but that zero point is massive to cause no fragment. Less harmful and precision to get in to get those first two frags. Either gonna just jump through the nebula, good to find one, try to get off the scaffold, precision has it through the smoke. And them in and switch now down. You have the help from CT in just a minute. The nebula is almost gone for the round and still two players back to site to try to defend things off. Ethan to pick up one harmful, has a quick shot with the daggers, but his trade's coming all back across the board for 100 Thieves. It's bang to come out of CT to pick up two and 100 Thieves, nine to seven. They hold on strong from the back of site despite the lack of util. And we talked about how strong that utility needed to be for Hiko, right? We saw the contact turret off on what could very well be so much different utility off that Astra Star, but but seven to nine. This is still very competitive. Each team two rounds on the uh, on the second half. And now Asuna is going to overextend the push up, but gets traded out immediately by Harmful. Good flash, Good flash early. Harmful will take out Operator, so he gives the position up. But Payan has more than taken position to the top of Cat. He's taken two frags as well. One more towards Cat, though. It's Hiko. Ready and lurk for a very late trade, at least for one. 
Players now towards Tile. Nebula will expire, and he has to back himself away. Oh my goodness, the read. The Util's phenomenal. Oh, he knows. He knows. Nothing oh. more sad. Pain will take the frag. A 3k for the KJ. Into the A site they go, and 100 thieves. They have money, so could look for just a little bit of a econ damage, but I wouldn't be shocked to just see a save come through. Yeah, I mean, look how little damage is left on Ethan, right? Six HP. Way the turret will be gone as well, so they're not able to play off that early info. The opportunity leaves, but 100 Thieves, they keep everybody alive. And these some FTX, they've stalled for B, they've rotated the player over, and they'll go to the A side instead. Left. Oh, there's only 30 seconds left, and bang. No bang and Ethan right now. The cross angles, they're playing off site. They're worried about that lockdown. They have to play into this utility as soon as possible. Where is that killjoy? But they're being stifled by everything. Ooh. Fragment grenade takes down bang. Great dart. Well, well, it's Ethan. Ethan needs to hold on and pay and it's gonna force their way through. Good for one, but still the lockdown doesn't even need to come into play if 100 Thieves keep losing out these gunfights. Look at the retake potential again. The lockdown for Hiko could come out here, but in a 2v4, it's unlikely. Pay and pushes up. Good for the trades. Hiko for two. It's all down to Hiko. Two left alive for TSM. The turret again to find the initial swing. There it is. The info's been gained. The nano swarm helps out, but no, can't find the spray transfer. Oh, it's 9-9 nine nine now, and no ultimates needed to be used. Either team. Stars now activated in TSM FTX will start to work their way in. Fragment will stall them now. Same with the pole, so no one can get through just yet. Armful good for the frag. Oh, bang, a clean one tap. Looking for a second. Oh, my goodness. Give it to me. Good for two. ZK now going to trade forward. And Ethan, well, he's got the Sheriff one taps now as well. We'll pick up one on DK. Asta's got a Marshall shot. What is going on? It's a massive thrifty from 100 Thieves. Asta to pick up two with the Marshall. And oh, my goodness. That eco is fantastic. Double digits now into a rifle round. And we could very well see the same story for TSM Academy if they don't win this next round. The economy's poor. And if they all go down, no saves at all, it's going to be an eco for 11. In the site we go already. TSM FTX Academy trying to change the tempo yet again. Put the jet through all this utility, but that's the team has to wait. And well, they got to work through Ethan as well. Oh, Good Ethan. for a three. KJ C. Stanny will pick up one as well. So that's four players to fall. That's Payne left Don't alone with the spike and A main will be caught by the drone. There's information. The swings are on their way. The shots coming through the nebula. Drone to tag. Get out of there, Payne, and he will. But he's straight into the danger of player's main as Asuna will be on the flank. It's flawless for 100 thieves. They look like a new roster after the timeout. Sometimes you just got to get composed. Ethan, 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 Ethan. Look at this again, right? It's a, it's a barely even a lineup, right? Yeah, there we go. Four words in back. The spray control is true. Only one of those finals of 100 Thieves. And this defensive team, well, they got a, a lot of ults to work with here. And things start to go awry, but maybe it won't. I love this play from Azana to now move to the top of Archway. This is the first time he's been here, the entire defensive side. And you can tell how off guard he is in FTX. He's going to pick up all the Hunter's Fury. JC standing the swing from Cad and Azana. Good for a 3k. New angle, new frags. A clean 3k on the round. It's 12 to 9. It's match point 100 Thieves. They've switched up the defensive. And dang, does it look good. They were just like, oh, yeah, we're really good at gunfights again. Why don't, why don't we just start doing that? Why don't we just shoot them, boys? Yeah, we're thieves. Asuna will break drone. He sees back again towards Archway. He'll be spotted and he'll look to move himself back away. Pang going to try to take the space. Drone's going to be there, so not going to be able to get that extra space he's looking for just yet. Decap will shoot drones. That gives opportunity, but look who's back. The big man himself just off a 3k. Asuna. Up close and personal. Where's the team? You look cosmic divide for a quick ticket plant. They're gonna have to get through all this utility still and bang up close and personal. We'll take out one. That's the little command gone as soon as Precision's body can get killed. If they can get to it though, is the thing. Eight seconds for it is inevitably going to go away if that res does not come through. And they're able to get it. So back alive is gonna be their KO. Cosmic divide up for just a little bit longer. They still haven't been able to get the plant down, which is the most important part of this whole thing. They can't plant. They will pick up one. Yeah, definitely can. It's just gonna pick up one harmful. Got one, but instantly traded, so they wouldn't decide to use all the utility. They haven't found much, though. ZK has to find frags, finds one, but instant trade for Bang, and Ethan will take the last. It's 13-9 as 100 Thieves could have the timeout and blow him out the water. It's 2-0 as they'll move.